Hi, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast with everyone's favorite OBGYN, Dr. Angela Jones. Have you ever been too embarrassed or shy to ask your own doctor about your, you know, girl parts? Well, you've come to the right place to get straight answers. Feel free to ask Dr. Angela anything women's health related. Obstetrics and gynecology? She keeps it real. Pregnancy? She's been there, done that. Menopause? She'll get you through. Young or old, Dr. Angela's got you covered, girl. Now here's Dr. Angela. What's good, people? This is Dr. Angela, everyone's favorite OBGYN, and I would like to welcome you to episode 189 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. There is a nor'easter going on on the East Coast. We have had so much rain these past 48 hours. It's crazy. I mean, it's raining so hard that it's coming down sideways. And the wind is howling, and boy, I'm just happy that I'm inside today in my studio where it's nice and warm, sipping on my grande soy caramel macchiato, which I picked up at about, mm, I don't know, 8 o'clock this morning. It's cold, but it's still good, and I'm just excited to be talking to you. I love, love, love talking to you. But anyway, I hope that the storms, wherever you are, are passing and that you are safe warm, and hopefully inside. We're going to jump right into today's question, and I get this a lot, specifically for my pregnant moms. Dr. Angela, can I get my nails done during pregnancy? Is it okay for me to use nail polish during pregnancy? And of course, my immediate response to that is, hell to the yeah! I mean, pregnancy is so hard. I mean, I don't know, for those of you that have been pregnant, and I've been pregnant just once, just once probably because it was so hard and I'm an old mom and you know all that stuff but you know pregnancy is so hard your body hurts you feel like a whale and a few other choice things that I won't mention in the podcast but you all know what I'm talking about you feel big you feel unattractive so I'm all for anything that's going to help you feel more confident more beautiful and if a little bit of nail polish on your hands and feet is going to accomplish that, go for it. Because frankly, I love seeing your nails and your toes when you come in. And I actually have what we call nail envy because of what I do, which is, you know, being an OBGYN, doing an exam. I mean, who wants somebody with long nails, you know, doing like a bimanual or pelvic exam or filling around in their vaginas? Not me. But the other thing is I certainly play guitar and nails get in the way of that. But I have a lot of nail envy for my patients that come in with like beautiful nails. And we know pregnancy makes your nails longer, stronger, you know, those kinds of things. But I love seeing your nails and your toes painted and with the designs because my nails are non-existent. My cuticles need to be done and I just have nail envy. So at least one of us can get their nails done. Why not let it be you? But go for it, whether you're doing it yourself. And I wouldn't recommend that because when you do your nails yourself and you told yourself during pregnancy, you know, the pregnancy gets in the way. You can't bend over, you know. So just let either your man, your woman, or go to the salon and get pampered. That's what I say. So long story short, get your nails done during pregnancy. Make them nice and pretty. Again, if it's going to help you feel better, I am all for it. I love how even just these little things, we take for granted things like getting our hands and feet done, but even these little things are huge questions for people when they're pregnant. So hopefully this has helped someone or answered a question for someone. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, there's never a question that's too big, too small, or that's dumb or stupid. Bring it all to me. Just when I think I've seen and heard everything, somebody else comes in with something that takes the cake. Thank you so much for tuning into today's podcast. Remember, if you have a topic or question that you want to submit, go to www.askdrangela.com. That's A-S-K-D-R-A-N-G-E-L-A.com. There you will find a way to directly send me an email or you can submit a question via direct message on any of my social media channels which are featured on the website. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And also we've got our YouTube channel up and running where I'm now doing short video segments on things that I think you all want to know. They are short and sweet. Just a reminder for those of you that follow the podcast 
Come February, you will need to resubscribe due to some technical changes that we're making with the podcast. Once again, thank you for all the love and support. In closing, I want to leave you this from Rules to Live By. Set goals for each day, not long and difficult projects, but small chores that will take you step by step toward your dream. Until next time, look better, feel better, be better. Can't wait to reconnect on episode 190 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. Thank you for listening to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. For more information on women's health and the show notes for this episode, please visit Dr. Angela at www.askdrangela.com. While you're there, don't forget to leave your own message for Dr. Angela. See you soon. All of the information provided and discussed in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not take the place of consulting a physician. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease or illness and does not and should not replace treatment from a medical professional.